The YG300 LCD projector. I know, it's been out for a long time, right? And as you guys may be aware, it does come with a low price tag of £31. That's around 36 in US dollars. I've got to mention that it does have low specs. So the question is, what possibly can this mini projector have to offer? Let's go ahead and delve right in. Right, so quickly, outside the box, there is some listed specifications to the side. Let's just roll them up for you guys to see. And okay, the specs list that this projector has an 800 to 1 contrast ratio. It has a 320 240 pixel native resolution and it says it supports 1920 by 1080p. It also has an image projection from 24 to 60 inches with a 4.3 or 16.9 aspect ratio and it also has an LED lifetime of up to 30,000 hours, which is around 3.5 years. There are a few more specs, all of which we will get into shortly. But first, inside the box, everything comes very well protected. We have a European power brick, an AV adapter cable, a short detailed user guide, a simple slim and very light remote control, which takes two AAA batteries, and lastly, we have the YG300 projector itself. So this projector comes in quite the catchy yellow and white colour coordination. Materials used are mostly ABS plastic. It is quite small, it fits right in the palm of your hand. Measuring 8.5cm in width, 12.5cm in length and 4.5cm in height. To the front we have the LED lamp with a manual focus adjustment to the side. There is no lens cap but to the left with a built in speaker. Shifting over to the left hand side again, we have a USB port, a HDMI port, a DC power port and this unit is said to have a rechargeable battery built in, which when the DC power cable is plugged in and the switch switched to the on position, it actually doesn't charge. No it doesn't, so I'm guessing that this is the non rechargeable unit, even though it's still saying the destruction. Ah! Cool down Daniel San, cool down, and you can cool down because there's lots of ventilation around both sides. There is a 3.5mm audio port, an AV port which supports NTSC and PAL, there is a micro USB port for an alternative power source, we have a SD card slot and an infrared remote receiver. Below there is a mount socket to enable use of a mini or tall projector stand. There is more ventilation just here and four sturdy rubber feet. To the top we have in a row physical function buttons which consist of backup, input source, delete, right and left and the power button along with the LED indicator. After switching off the lights and powering on this YG300 projector we are greeted by a very simple main menu which consists of movie, music, photo and text tabs to the top. One thing that is noticeable right from the off is that the image it isn't particularly bright, even on a pure white background. After plugging in a USB drive, films and videos played perfectly. They had no sound sync problems and although the audio wasn't super loud from the built in speaker, it was however quite crystal clear. Messing with the brightness and contrast settings didn't really make much difference. It didn't make the images or video better and it certainly wasn't as bright as I would prefer. I did try this A95X Android TV box, but I found that the menu was very pixelated. Words were hardly readable. YouTube did look a bit better while playing music videos, but although this Android TV box is powerful, I did prefer using the Amazon Fire Stick. The quality is a slight bit better and it was a lot more of an improvement. I did find though that the Fire Stick did have interference problems while I was trying to select movies. And just a note, when selecting a film, change the audio on the selected film from Dolby Digital to Stereo Sound. Otherwise you won't be able to hear the audio coming from the built in speaker. So I positioned this projector around 2 meters away from the wall. From that 2 meters I got up to 60 inches. You can get above that, I did get to 67 inches but then those pixels become absolutely ah embarrassing. I would say for the best picture quality, if you position it at those 2 meters, then you'll get a basic image at 55 to 60 inches. Anything less or anything more, it just looks poor. 
and I'm not even saying it's looking great anyway because I've used this projector this week on a PlayStation using Android games the writing is impossible to read subtitles and movies impossible too and if you're looking for details within films forget about it but in whole ah, I just don't know I don't think it's ever going to be good enough to be your main home movie projector the resolution and luminings are low pixels are just too visible the light is weak and those buttons to the top of the projector too. Oh god, I mean at night time, impossible to even use them. I mean, you would have thought there'd be a bit of illumination behind the buttons. It just gave the overall feeling like a toy. It's definitely not a serious movie projector. And while watching any type of videos, the quality doesn't come close to that 1080 or 720p. There are only a few points that are good with this movie projector today and that is because it works perfectly fine with most movie files It's compatible with an external hard drive It is very compact, it's low in price But when I've asked my son today Do you want to swap your 20 inch basic TV for this projector? His answer is Hell no! No point in having 50 or 60 inch screen when it just looks well poor and that's where I come to my verdict and my rating out of 10 So today I've got to give this Y3 300 projector uh, 4 out of 10 and that's because I'm being charitable so guys just in case I have left a link for this movie projector in the video description down below you can go ahead and check that out right now and go get yours please go ahead and share this video wherever possible please go ahead and smash that like button subscribe making sure you hit that bell notification option so you guys stay updated on all my new uploads I'll see you guys over on my new video coming real soon. Stay tuned for that. And well, thanks for watching. Peace.